traveling sucks. And I've been out of the country. I've been over here. I've been over here. I've been over here. And it's, you tell people you're traveling. You get the cool pictures. They go, wow, that must have been so fun. And, and it was probably such a good time. And, and uh, you guys are going out and you went and saw this. And it was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was definitely a good time. It's, oh, it must be really cool that you can bring your laptop because like you own the company and, and like you're with all uh, your team and you can you can like do all your work over there. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's cool. But in the back of my head, I'm like, nah, that shit fucking sucks. So let me explain why. So so I'm right here and I'm, I'm, I'm in this room right now. And before I got on this camera, that light wasn't on. It was just dark. And I've been, I got two monitors right here. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. I was with my family. Today's Black Friday. We're ramming offers right now. I'm sitting here in front of these two monitors. And... And I've been staring at this computer screen for like 10 hours. I've been right here, like all day. Now, now an ordinary human might be like, wow, like you, that must have sucked. Like you were working all day and, and I'm sitting here like, no, I had a fucking phenomenal time. Th this is great. I've been traveling over here and over and here and over. And, and the reason why it's great is because I was able to produce shit with essence. What do I mean by essence, right? So if, if I go on Twitter right now, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna click the home screen and, and I'm gonna see some stupid tweets. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, hold on, let me find something. This is gonna take two seconds, literally. Um, so the b best chat GPT prompts for, the, the, how to use AI to produce content and do and, and make fucking eight dollars a month grow the fuck up. This, this every all of the content produced on the internet right now is dog shit. It it's so absolute. How can I use ChatGPT to 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 remove all of the fucking life force that I can ever put into the market ever? This is what you're doing, right? And people love to do this. If I make a tweet. Or I, I, I make some shit on LinkedIn and people start replying. They, they take, copy my shit, put it into chat GPT and they go, put me a reply to this. And what they do, wow, Daniel, that was such an insight. It's definitely a good idea for entrepreneurs to work hard. Shut the fuck up. You are such a pussy. And this is what happens. This is the kind of content you produce when you're out in Bali, you digital nomad, look at me traveling. You are a fucking loser. That's so lame. I, I, I've been sitting in this room. I got home last night. I was with family for Thanksgiving. I haven't taken a shower in 36 hours. I'm sick from traveling. I feel fucking great. This, this, this is the best time I've had in like a month. This is so fun. I had an event. I had to, I had to travel to another state and then, then travel to Europe and then fuck, it sucked. I got another trip next week. I'm not happy. I want to sit in here and I want to write ads. I want to, I want to, I want to write VSLs. I want to make funnels. I want to, I want to assemble pixels and words on a screen in such a fashion by which that we make millions of dollars. And I want to do this all day because it's really fucking fun, right? So there's, there's this concept and I'm going to tell you about it. There, the most NHL players, are born in the months of January and February and March, right? And now this is this this, this story is from the book Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. Why are almost all why are most NHL players born in the month of January, February? Is it is it is it the astrology? The astro no, it's a very simple explanation, right? And what the explanation is is the cutoff for for hockey when you're a kid is December. Right, so let, let, let's imagine you're you're a six year old and you're playing hockey. What happens here is if you're a six year old, you 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 turn six in January, and then you got other people who are in December and they turn six in December. You are one sixth of a human life more developed than the person in December. Therefore, you are one sixth more developed probably significantly more stronger, faster, and just, and just mentally capable. Like the, the raw ability to maneuver a puck, right? Like, a, like an entire sixth of a life. That's a lot. That's a, that's a significant margin. 
So what happens is all of those guys in January, February, March are way better than everyone else just because they are faster, stronger, and bigger. Now what happens when you are the best out of everyone, you get more attention from the coaches and you get more encouragement from your parents and the people you're beating. So it increases the probability you come back next season to which you are again still better than everybody else. And it also increases the probability you come back for the next season, the next season, the next season, and you just keep getting better fucking forever. Right? So what happens is with the digital nomad fuckers all sitting in Bali, I'm going here, I'm going here this month, I'm going here this month, I'm going here this month, and I'm in this fucking room that light isn't on. Just, just don't get this. Don't even fucking shower during the way. I, I only shower. I'm gonna leave, right? Me versus them. Who wins? Because the fucking scoreboard is pretty clear at this point. We launched a list kit, hit 100k a month in 90 days. Shit is still ramming up. Probably gonna sell that shit for like 200 mil in two years. Who wins? Who do you think wins in this situation? Right. So. So the premise of this video is that you should stop fucking traveling and you should, you should find yourself a hole and you should, you should write words on a screen and you should make offers and you should sell shit to people on the internet so you stop being poor. And it's very, it's very simple to do this. And, and, and it, it, it's simple in that all you have to do is not be a digital nomad travel fucker. It's, it's like, it's really that simple because then you, you get more, you get more attention from the market, the, the customers, the people giving you money. And if you're in a, if you're in a group, like something like client ascension and you're showing up to the, the, the coaching calls or you're in Slack and you're like in the community and actually engaging with people, then you increase the surface area of opportunity because you are producing shit out into the world. You are, you are, you are exerting life force into the ether and aggregating attention to yourself, therefore increasing the probability of opportunity by happenstance falling into you because you just have a bigger net. Like that's it. So simply stop fucking traveling and participate in stuff and exert shit out into the world. I love you. Goodbye.